There's Ken on the 74 Penton Berkshire 100, smallest bore produced by Penton KTM in 1974. I bet you that's a sight you haven't seen in 50 years. A 1974 Penton 100cc Berkshire whipping by you. Third gear tapped. This thing is absolutely stunning. It's been a, um, a little bit of a project to get it where it is right now. I can uh, give you the details in a moment here. Um, this is a, again, 1974 Penton Berkshire 100. John Penton and his team were dominating the international six-day trials in American off-road racing with these bikes. They had several different models. This was the smallest and one of the most desirable, the Berkshire 100 with a Sox motor. Um, we've, I drove all the way to uh, Pennsylvania, uh, western Pennsylvania, about a 16-hour round trip to pick this up and uh, this summer. And we worked on it a little bit. We hit a crossroads with the ignition. We needed a new ignition system, so we brought it up to Jeff at All Sport Cycle, all the way up in uh, the, on the New Hampshire line, and he put in a brand new, uh, four hundred and fifty dollar uh, top of the line ignition with the headlight uh, feature on it, also. So, brand new ignition system on it, and then we went through it ourselves here, top to bottom, front to back. Uh, it's got new Falk fenders on it, brand new Pest and Petty front number plate. It's got a brand new set of Dunlop tires on it. It's got the Falk rear fender. I've got the work order inside. Um, it still even has the original kickstand on it. But ask yourself, like I recently started saying, when's the last time you've seen one of these? I'm guessing a long, long time ago. I've been to mid-Ohio the last four years, seen lots of Pentons, but no Berkshires. I've been to Daytona 30 years in a row, never seen one down there. Kenny, have you ever seen a Berkshire 100, ever? Not in person. In the recent load of Pentons that we acquired, there was one other Berkshire. It was a Berkshire 175, the blue model, and that didn't even make it up to auction. Uh, one of our followers sniped that one up before it even made it on the YouTube Actually, channel. you're mistaken. So, that wasn't a Berkshire. All the Berkshires were 100s. They didn't make a 175. Oh, that was a Jack Piner. That was a Jack right? Piner, yeah. So this is only Berkshire 100. Berkshire, yes, yeah, the only one we've had. The only one, well, frankly, in 2,500 motorcycles that have come through the, the Kaplan Cycles shop here in the last seven years, we've never had another Penton 100. We've had a dozen or, or more 125s, uh, the six days, and then the Jack Piner was the 175, but... This is an absolute survivor. Um, if you look at the first spot I look on these vintage bikes is down here. Check the frame rails. If this was raced in ISTT trials, this would have been all smashed in because they run them through the rocks. The frame looks like it's never been in, in off-road, let alone raced. So we knew the frame was in mint shape. The engine was in excellent condition. Uh, it, needed, it had the original moto plat ignition, which wasn't producing any uh, spark or light. So we had to start there with that. So... Um, Another six-hour round trip to get the ignition done, and a couple weeks later, uh, actually two trips up there. So I've got a total of, uh, let's see, almost 20 hours traveling just to put this thing together. And I've got the work order with the parts, about $1,000 in parts and uh, around 2000 in labor. So about $3,000 was invested in the bike to get it. Looking where it is now, which is like a day it rolled off the showroom floor in 1974. Um, why don't we bring it inside? I'll do a couple laps around here. I'll put around a little bit on it. And we'll bring it inside, and uh, we'll go over the work order on it. It still has the original 45-year-old uh, leather tank strap. The original exhaust is in mint condition, as is the original paint, which good luck finding another original paint this nice. The original Berkshire logo was uh, a little defaced on one side, so I had I had it. Um, uh, a local graphic shop copied it and reproduced it at a, a pretty penny. I think they charged me $115 to do that, which is, hey, it is what it is. If you want them, that's what it costs. And then I sent out and had the Penton backgrounds made by a uh, uh, a um, local graphic shop in Mass that did the graphics. Those were 69 bucks. So uh, the Magura levers are brand new, as are the purchase. Uh, the clutch cable's brand new. The throttle cable's brand new. The grips are brand new. The press and petty headlight and front and rear Falk fenders are brand new, as are the tires, the gold chain. And everything's been well sorted out. Uh, everything works beautifully on the bike. So if you have any questions about it, give us a call at 860-454-7024. These are the original handlebars. I did some research on them. They're, they're a little taller than I thought they should be, but this is, this is what they came through with. Uh, it's got the brand-new Terry cable on there along with the Magura lever, brand-new kill switch. Um, this would make an awesome 
Christmas present for yourself or the vintage motorcycle lover in your family. Uh, this is an investment quality motorcycle. These are absolutely going up in value. As far as the value goes, we checked local, you know, with a bike like this, since there's so few of them, you got to check auction results and see what they're selling for. One just sold at Meekum for, was it $12,000? Yeah, there was, an, there was an earlier Penton Berkshire 100 that went for twelve five, and more recently uh, 1973 uh, with that, well, it was the exact same bike as this. Um, in my opinion, ours is, is a smidge nicer. There's one for 8,800 at the Meekum auction. So, and on top of those Meekum auction prices, you got a 10% buyer's premium. So, somebody paid just under 10 grand for one of these. Uh, we're going to start the bidding and the reserve um, lower than that. So, it, whatever it sells at is going to be an excellent value. I believe this will be the only one on the planet for sell for sale between now and Christmas. Because frankly, we've been looking and haven't seen any. So, and that speaks to the earlier rarity that, that I spoke about. Uh, Kenny started the bike before we took it out here, started first kick and purred like a kitten uh, from Stone Cold, as I'm sure it will right now. It's tuned really well. Uh, Jeff at All Sport Cycle tuned the carb and uh, put the ignition system on it. Uh, it's got 150 PSI compression. The engine's perfect on this bike. So good luck bidding on her. Hope it ends up, if you want to leave it at the museum, we'd love to have it here. Uh, we're having the, the uh, Northeast Racers reunion this Saturday here. We're expecting about 600 guys at the museum. So if you see the video and you want to come, Check out this bike. Uh, it's Saturday, November 23rd, our second annual racers reunion. We're inducting Jojo Keller, uh, John Dowd, and I believe, actually it's a toss-up between John Dowd and Jimmy Meenan. There's an online vote, so get on to old men that used to race and cast your vote. Uh, Doug Henry's got the most votes and Jojo Keller second. So good luck bidding on the bike. I'll see you inside. We'll go over the work order. This bike has the original spark arrestor and silencer, which is held on by these uh, springs here intact, as is the heat shield, very rare. A lot of torque for a little 100, and you know, something about this 100, I don't know, touches that nostalgic part inside of my heart. That reminds me when I was a little kid looking at the magazines and saying, wow, if I could, if I could only ever afford one of these, you know, and we were lucky to get a Suzuki 100, let alone a Penton Berkshire. These were something only the rich kids had, and still to this day, that's the case. This is a very rare, expensive, I mean, let's face it, one sold for 8,800, one sold for 12.5. Not everybody can afford one of these, but if you can, and you want a kick-ass piece of American culture, the, the godfather of American motocross, John Penton himself designed this bike. This is a classic piece that's only gonna go up in value. It's an investment, buy yourself the best. Kaplan America approved. Want to open the door for me, son? Keep it rolling. You tape it? This thing. Don't get any better than this, folks. That's for sure. Original paint, beautiful frame, original rims, original exhaust, original handlebars. Everything else is uh, done up quite nicely. So uh, something about the red and white paint that just gets me. This bike had me at hello. So we put a lot of money into it and a lot of time. Hopefully it'll be worth it for everybody involved. How'd you like to see this under the chrome Christmas tree made out of motorcycle mufflers in the Motorcycle Museum? sometime between now and Christmas. If you want to come pick it up, we'll, we'll stage it there for you or put it in front of your tree with a bow on it. But the red and white definitely speaks of uh, a Christmas you won't forget. This will be a gift that keeps on giving. Uh, going over the parts list, this has the brand new power dynamo ignition with the lighting coil and the regulator. That was $479 for the part. Uh, the Preston Petty headlight was a 110. The alloy plates were $39.95. The graphics was $69.95 and those little 
pesky Penton Berkshire 100cc decals, uh, reproducing them by a local graphics house cost me 115. Uh, front tire, rear tire, uh, the Falk fenders front and rear were very expensive, $240 for those fenders. Magura lever set with the clutch purchase and the brake purchase. I almost uh, choked a little bit when I saw the price on that. That was $225. Uh, the gold chain, uh, 48 bucks. The seat is, take a look at the seat. You gotta see, take a look at this. This is something that's worthy of, of focusing on. This has the KTM logo on the back of the seat. This was where KTM and Penton were kind of struggling for uh, ownership of the company, so to speak. And KTM was, was branding the back of the bikes uh, KTM in the tank said Penton. These were built by KTM in Austria. That's a very significant piece uh, for this bike to have that original uh, part of the seat still intact is remarkable. Uh, the fact that it's 45 years later. Um, of course, new gear fluid, new air filter, um, and a new gold chain. So the detail shop and the service shop had a total of 11 hours labor. So the labor cost was 970. The parts added up to $1,670. The parts for this are not cheap. Um, then the sublet repairs, uh, Jeff charged me $200 to mount the ignition and install that and set that up. Uh, I had shipping down at 200, which is ridiculously low considering I personally <laughs> drove to Pennsylvania back and forth. Uh, that was a, a 20 hour trip. And then to the New York line twice from here uh, to drop this off and pick it up. I put down $200, which is probably what it cost me in fuel. So the total was $3,068. If you were paying for this work, the out the door price with tax would have been $3,262 on top of the cost of a mint original Berkshire, which is gonna run you probably, uh, you know, the bike not running, needing an ignition and tires and fenders and the stuff we did to it, you're gonna drop at least three or 4,000 on that. So um, definitely the bike is gonna be in, in, in the, in the the, the value of this bike is going to be close to what the last two that we could comparable sales we saw, which were 88 and 12.5. I think this is the most valuable of all the pentons we got in because of the rarity of the Berkshire and the original paint and the fact the frame's in mint shape and it's got that upgraded ignition. This is a bike if you want to ride some vintage races, take it and ride it. You want to put it in your museum, you can do that too. We'll let the market determine the value. Oh, this even, like I said, has original kickstand on it. Uh, the original pegs are in good shape. The kickstarter's in mint shape. The engine cases look to be in beautiful condition um, you know even the original uh, serial number tag on the side of the case here is in beautiful shape so just a great bike so good luck bidding on her all proceeds are going to fund the New England Motorcycle Museum so you're buying a significant piece of motorcycle history a very nostalgic gorgeous uh, desirable Penton Berkshire 100 so good luck bidding on her God bless America